Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Workers and Resources. Hope you're having a great day. I've got a major unemployment issue with in Sosnikova. There's a lot of unemployment here. We're going to provide them with some jobs by opening up a, another major industry uh, over on this side of town. We'll probably have a couple of different areas that do this uh, particular industry, but we're going to start it here because there's a lot of unemployed. I'm going to start the vehicle production line. This has always been planned, all right? I know a lot of people are asking me to do this. Uh, it's like, I'm going to, uh, but uh, I'm just not into it yet, okay? So this is vehicle production line. We're going to make our own cars here. Lots of different vehicles can be made here. Uh, I'm going to start by, I think, bringing this to be about, let's say here. I'm just going to hold down the button here. Let's make it nice and flat. Uh, in fact, you know, I might want to move it over just a little bit, make it even... Eh. Well, cause I'm, I'm looking to get access to the factory connection that's located right next to the road there. I'm not entirely sure where I can use that. Uh, if I Maybe if I angle it like this, I can use it better. Yeah, I probably can. If I go like this, I know it doesn't appease the uh, I like symmetry people, but um, if I put the building like that, it gives me a little bit more flexibility in placing something here than it does if I didn't angle it. Uh, but what this is going to do is gonna, we're going to provide jobs for a lot of these guys that are really close to this. And then a lot of these guys can work at the train station and, and whatever, right? Um, so making vehicles, let's take a look at the industry for this really quick. Making vehicles is going to require us to have plastics, electronics, and a lot of them. Um, so 175 tons of fabric, uh, mechanical components, and electrical components. I don't know how much of each of these resources are needed. I just know that it's basically the same stuff as we need for the trains. I would assume that making cars is faster than making the trains. And I would also assume that the trains might take, I don't know if the trains would take more or less fabric than a car would, but um, I think I'm gonna take this space for large uh, vehicle containers and all that stuff. I think we're gonna pop this down right over in here. Uh, yeah, I was kind of looking to have it be connected, yeah, kind of alongside this. So, why don't we place it, uh, about like, you know, it has a train track. We could maybe use that. Maybe if I put it over here like this, we could use that train track or something, you know? Let's, uh, let's try that. We'll put this here, about like this. And then this can be a warehouse, which will, you know facilitate some goods that we may want, right? Uh, we'll put this kind of like, I'd like it to be on the intersection, but I'm not gonna get it, so okay. We'll put this right here then, right? Like, come on now. Actually, you know what? Road connections, right? We love road connections, those, those roads. Let's do that if we can. Um, we'll turn this around, go this way. And, ooh, this is gonna be very tough. Because of the, look how far away I got to get for this. Right about there. Looks like that's as far away as I can be. Then the other one can be right here. With the road, yep. Like like this. That should be that should be fine, actually. Yeah. Right about like this. Oh, this is going to work out just fine. Heck yes. All right, and then we'll take the road connection... Road cargo station, beautiful. And then we'll have all of this stuff delivered by truck right here. All right, we can deliver it with the trains too, but you know, we're making cars. You could make the trucks that deliver stuff for the trucks. I don't know. Uh, let's just go with, yeah, right up, right up next to this. I think I like this better. All right, so that'll connect these two warehouses. You can store different components and stuff in there, plus this for vehicles and then also for the steel, right? You gotta have an open storage for steel as well. So open storage, medium. We'll put that on this side. Next to this. P put these two things right next to each other. That seems cool. Yeah, about like this. Alright, good. And we just have to figure out a way to get all that stuff over here, right? Easy. Um, we'll take this road and extend it straight this direction. And let's have it hook up right like that. We can also have this one come over. Um, we should probably do the rails first, though. Because they usually t they tend to be difficult to manage and i think maybe we'll come off as a t-junction here to have these go this direction so what we probably want to do is have it go this way 
And then have this one come out this direction. Have you cross here. Right? Something like this. Yeah. And then these two tracks next to each other can meet up with this T-junction right here. So we can probably kind of come around like this. Like this. That's not at all what I wanted to do. That was a weird thing to happen. All right. Let's get rid of that. I mean, it's clever. Cool. Nice little roundabout. But no thanks. Train roundabouts are really not worth it in this game. They, it doesn't matter because they're going to react to signals anyway. And the signals are... Like, if they're in that zone, you're going to stop. If there's any junction at all, they're going to stop. So, we're just going to go about like this. I like the T-crosses the are fine. They don't take up as much space either. Um, we'll go ahead and just have that be solidified. And all that stuff will get started. So, they're going to start constructing this. This is good. Now, another thing I don't have a whole lot of over here is highly educated people. And we're going to need that for engineering type jobs. So, I'm going to do something really cool. I'm going to take a headquarters of the Communist Party right here. This is also going to facilitate some jobs here temporarily. And we're going to use dollars to buy the head of the Communist Party. <laughs> okay. We have a lot of dollars. So I'm going to spend that. And we're going to spend it right here and get it started right now so that they can uh, go to school if they want to. So just boom, like that. And then um, we'll go ahead and get the walk path put in right like this. That's good. And here is good. We'll let that build, and then all these guys can walk to school if they want to. They can walk right up into this university, you know? And then they can go and get themselves highly educated, and then they're, they're prepared and ready to go for here. Now, this is a place for vehicles, right? For cars. And this, is, this vehicle storage is where we're going to end up having all the cars. When they're ready to go, we can ship them out on the train and bring them around to various different places. But... The cars are going to need a place. How cars work. And this is how personal cars work in this game. So it's a little weird. They're not really personal cars. It says it's a personal car, but it's like that's like the type of car it is. It's not really a personal car. So you have a parking lot, and then you put cars in that parking lot. People will walk to the parking lot, and up to four people will carpool. I think it depends on the vehicle, but basically four people can carpool. And then they will drive up to 2,000 meters away to wherever destination they can get to that also has a parking lot. So think of it like you have bus depots or you have bus stops, right? You could put up a bus stop here and a bus stop here. Then you just have a bus that goes between them, right? And you have to manually, you have to designate that route, right? You have to say bus goes from here to here. With cars, it's similar, but not the same. You have parking lot and parking lot, and then you put cars in those parking lots, and then people use the cars and decide where they want to go. As long as there's another parking lot they can park at, uh, they'll go ahead and do that, and they'll just kind of drive around. So uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna do that, of course. Um, it's just not something I'm uh, ready to do right now. So let me just get this road also to go this way. Oh, okay, okay, fine. Hang on, pause it. Let me get you out of the way. Go this way, please. Uh, I don't want to do this with dollars. I've spent my dollars for the day. Uh, we're going to go this way with it. Uh, pretty straight. Probably want to do the sidewalk one, though. Gonna have, we're going to have houses here. Let's go about like that. Should be good. And then we'll get the wires back in. Like so. There we go. All right. So, yep, that's good. Communist Party uh, headquarters is almost here. We're going to have this in there, too. We're going to have a lot of different higher education places. The places we have for higher education cannot take our population. I mean, we're at, we're at 58,000 people, dude. All right. Our growth rate is three times our death rate. So, like, we're growing a lot. And our needs are expanding because of it a lot. Uh, so, I'm going to try to get a couple of parking lots. We're going to do a large parking lot here. It costs 24000 and you see the large parking lot? It's not really all that large. Okay? It's it's kind of pathetic, to be honest. If I'm if I'm being completely honest, it's pretty pathetic how big this is. How small it is, I guess. But we're gonna place it right here. And we're gonna let that build with resources because it's not urgent at all. We'll go about like this with it. And that's gonna provide a place for cars to be. And then these guys can just choose to use them whenever they want. And we could do two of them, really. If we wanted people to drive around, we could do that. Um, 
and I think I probably will right here. Like, I'll have like two parking lots, maybe like this. And then what we can do is have the road go straight up. Well, hang on. Have the road go straight up through here, like so. Get this back. Like that. There we go. And then, uh, and yeah, these parking lots will just be. Oh, don't do that. Don't do it. No. Boo. All right, hang on. Okay, leave that alone and then go with the large parking lot. Yeah, like this. Apparently that was just too close. Fine. Like that. Okay. Then walking paths on both sides like this. And then also we'll connect them up because we can. And then this one can go that way. This can go straight in if they want, if we want it to. Um, this one, it would be cool to have this go straight across like that. Ah, uh, it's pretty. Yeah, I don't think that's necessary. Whatever, we'll just leave it like this. Um, so they can come into these parking lots and just walk to work, right? So they have the walking distance from this point to go and work. So it just kind of expands what they can do, right? The person who lives here, for example, could get in a car here, maximum walking distance to the car, then drive that car up to 2,000 meters away to a to another parking lot, get out of that parking lot, and then they have the walking distance range from that parking lot so what we can do it like if i want them to work in these buildings here and these areas here i can place another parking lot let's say uh, i can do a small one or a medium one i don't think it matters um, other than like the number of cars we can have so like, i could put a parking lot like right here for example and then like connect it with a walking path and now they have the walking distance from here into all of these things if we want them to work there right and same thing for these guys. They can access that parking lot as well. Um, so that will work out pretty nicely. And then we can do a large parking lot. Kind of... I think it's 2,000 meters. It's pretty far away. So um, I think maybe we can get one... Maybe right over here. Then they can walk to any of these buildings to work. Maybe... Uh, eh, maybe over like right next to this bus stop. Like this. That way they can work anywhere over here. I don't think it's... We'll have to see what they use, right? Maybe we'll take medium ones. Because I don't know what they're going to end up using. Like, they may not even use these parking lots. But we'll see. Because this is going to hopefully... It's, it's going to do two things. It's going to add a lot of traffic to our road network. And it's going to give people a way to reach jobs. So that there's less unemployment. Because... A lot of unemployment is just because I couldn't get to a train or I was waiting too long or whatever, right? We'll have less problems with that. So I'm going to stage parking lots kind of throughout, like all throughout this area. And I think right here is a great spot for one. Oh, yeah, right here. Like there's so many places to work here. We probably should have two parking lots here just because of the sheer volume of places to work. One. And then if I can put another one, maybe a smaller one right here. Come on, you can do it. It obviously needs a road connection because cars have to get it drive in there. You can't just... I don't think you can do walking pads with these. Um, we'll go like this. That's good. And then this can go uh, there and... I could technically do that, really? I'm in. <laughs> Whatever, I'll do this too. Uh, and then... Yeah, none of that needs to work. No, it doesn't matter. Um, this can connect to there. And... Yeah, I don't I don't think any of this... Well, I can do that. That works for me, actually. That way they can get into this area. All right, so big parking lot there. Uh, we got some more places through here. I'm just going to place a bunch of them. Um, I don't know if we necessarily need to show all of this on video. But, um, you know, we'll have a bunch over here near this area with, um, you know, the steelworks and stuff. We could do that. I think I kind of want it right here, but there's a walk path in the way. So what I can do, I guess, is just eliminate it from here and then uh, place the parking lot here like so. And then the walking path can get reconnected like this. Yep. 
Okay, good. And I'll just go ahead and uh, build that road so that it's done. Okay, so they can start building this again. This is going to annoy me, just knowing it. Like, I wish I hadn't seen it, but I did. It's going to annoy me having that little glit. I don't, I don't know why, it just does, okay? A little blip. Very frustrating. It's fixed. Okay. Um, all right, so parking lots over there. And then I, I don't know if people are going to be able to... Is this like, is this 2,000 2, meters away? We can kind of see with the distribution office. Oh, what in the world? Why are you question marks? That's interesting. Um, okay, well, I want, you know, like, do like this, I guess. I don't know. I wanted to see distance. And I think I have to get, like, a, a construction office. Here it is. So construction office, 3,000 meters is all the way out there. If I was to say 2,000 meters, this is a good representation of how far away we can get. And people will still drive. So that's pretty good. I mean, from that building all the way out here, they'll go, which tells me that it's pretty certain that people who live in this area will get in a car and be able to get to their destination over here. So that's that's a good thing to see. I like that. Source of gravel is empty. Really? Really? Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, you're pretty sure. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, because the connector is on this aggregate load instead of being here where it's all being popped in so I probably should reestablish this in another location so that they can go take it from storage as opposed to here because it immediately exits here and goes to storage right so why don't I uh let's go I don't remember where this is even what is going on here I can't even speak Probably construction related industry. Yeah, aggregate loading. Truck aggregate aggregate loading. Yeah, it's gonna be tough to put that in there. Yeah. That's not something I can easily do. I guess the only way to really do it for sure is to just keep it going, you know? Like trucks just keep working, just keep doing it. And we'll fill up the storage and then uh I don't think that's a good way to do it. Uh, I don't know. Part of me says maybe we don't need three of these, you know, like asphalt. I do regularly see at least two helicopters here, but I don't know how often I see three. I suppose I could, if I was to put this here instead, that would hook up. I can see it graphically, it will hook up. So why don't we maybe do that? If I get rid of this, That makes only two two bays for for that resource. But it's going to allow me to put a truck aggregate load right here next to this. And then I can have it be on the storage instead of the direct. So I can go about like this. Two dollars. And go about like this. And then we can change your site. So you are no longer going to get it there. You're going to get it here. And then you're also going to get gravel... This is the technical services. Where's my other... Where's my other construction office? I had two of them. Right here? Yeah. The source of gravel is empty. Yeah, it's not anymore. Ta-da! Go get your stuff. Okay. And I'll just do that with everybody else, too. So they won't use this really much anymore, and they'll only use this one. And now they have tons of gravel, because, again, it comes out of here immediately. It doesn't sit here ever until all of these are full. And there's just a lot of gravel for trains, and this is gonna be for the trucks, so that's fine. All right, I'm gonna continue adding uh, places to drive to the map here. I'm gonna do another large parking lot kind of over here. This is a pretty good spot for it, actually. You can get into work in these areas. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, that's being built with dollars, I guess. Okay. Well, this gives us an accurate look of what it is, what it looks like. So we can do. Uh, looks like how many rows are there here one two three four five six seven so this is 28 cars probably tells me that doesn't it yeah it does 28 28 cars uh times four people that's not a lot of driving like not a lot of people can get here and work so maybe i can get two of them in this area maybe something like this 
Yeah, because I, I think I want more people to be able to work here. We'll go about like that. That actually is lined up pretty nicely, isn't it? Hey, look at that. It's That's clean. Right? It's just about as clean as you can expect in this game, anyway. Um, we will take the walking path. Go direct. I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. But then also, I want to go this way. Um, yeah, that way. And then we can have you um, go, I guess, this direction. Ooh, you're going to... Well, you can take the road anyway. Yeah. So we'll have this road wrap around and... This one can go over here, I guess. I don't know. Go kind of wherever we want. But if they're going to drive over here, this is to work in fabrics, which is okay because fabrics, each of these fabrics take up to 100 workers. So two parking lots is fine. And then um, we'll probably want another one to go, I think, right over here. Probably a couple of them to go over here, actually. So we can do one um, right next to this here. Another one can go here if it lets me fit it, which it doesn't look like it will. That's fine. We'll do it on the other side. No, we can do it over here. Yeah, right here. And then also another one right here. That's fine. No biggie. They can get out of here and they can walk to wherever they want. So there's lots and lots of places for them to drive and, uh, and get out. And so I'll keep doing that pretty much all over the place here. A lot of people need to work here. This is getting really close to done. We're only 1.6 million away now. So I probably could start looking at how to build trains, right? I've already got trucks on their way dropping off resources. So plastics and electronics are already being distributed to these warehouses. Uh, same thing here, mechanical components and electrical components are already starting to get brought here so that when this building is ready to go, there's already stuff ready for them. What I haven't done is this rail. So let me real quick do a huge demo and restructure on this, and then I'll show you what I've come up with and we'll be right back. All right, no, actually, here's what I wanna do, okay? Because I've had a lot of people saying this and I don't believe in the merit of it. I already said that earlier in this exact video, but you know what? We're gonna use it and just see, because I'm wrong all the time. So let's, uh, let's actually get a good practical look at what a train roundabout would actually look like because we've got five different sources to bring in here. One, two, three, four, five different sources to bring in here. And when you do four, that's a really easy intersection, but five kind of starts to complicate things a little bit. So how does a train roundabout actually work in this situation? Let's, let's just see. So we obviously need one track that goes around one direction and one that goes the other direction. So we're still going to have two tracks, but I think the merit behind a roundabout for this probably involves, well, I have to do something like, I want to say anyway, I want to have to do something like this where you want me to go like that, basically, right? Uh, I need to go a little bit wider and I guess it would meet up about like this. Well, you get what I'm, you get what I'm saying, right? So uh, let's bring, let's take this away and it's not gonna be perfectly round. It's close, right? But then we get this track and then it needs to, we need to do another one, which I don't know if this is gonna be doable but we'll see how it goes, okay? I probably need an even bigger one. Yeah, let's make it just a little bit bigger. All right, so we're gonna come do this. And uh, we're gonna say, we want it to be maybe here, let's say. So right about here, like that. And then we'll go all the way around, right? So about like this, real wide like this, okay? There you go. And then uh, you have to delete this because it's, straight. We don't want a straight section. There we go. And then you will just meet up with this. It's pretty dang good as far as its roundness is concerned. It's very good. So let's just get this whole section here. Right? I think the argument was you wanted everything to go the same direction so it would never interfere. Uh, and that may be true, but when you have two completely separate sections of track... I'm not sure how you pull that off. So we'll have one be the entrance and one be the exit. I think that's the only way to do it. So pull you back and we'll say that this is the entrance to get on the roundabout here. And then this will be the exit. Um, ooh, what the heck? Oh wait, I'm on. No, I'm definitely in the right tool. These are in their way, really? 
All right, we'll pull them back even further then. All right, so if the trains are going around a certain direction, let's say they're going around, they're all going to go around like this, right? So we'll have these trains coming from here. They'll take the outside track. And if you want to go straight, you're going to be on the outside track. And then you're eventually going to go and exit like this. So we'll say you exit like this, right? This side is going to enter like so. And then this one's going to meet up with this on the entrance. So you end up with the... If you're heading this direction, you go that way. If you're heading around this, you can go that way, right? Now, what about this middle track? Which ones do we use for the middle track? Well, I think we're going to use this one for that. So we're going to say that if you're heading this direction, you're going to meet up with this track, okay? This is your in point. And you can, if you choose, leave and go all the way through here and meet up there. If you're heading this direction, you're going to use the center track, right? So you're going to go in like so into the roundabout. And let's say you want to go this way. You're going to exit and go there. This one would then be coming over and entering in. Uh, well, I thought it would enter in, but now I have to pull it back. Okay. So let's bring it in. And about like, I guess it'd be about like this. And that's a really hard thing to connect, isn't it? It's because of the angle. Yeah, yeah, we don't want the angle to be like this. Pull this back. Let's not, let's not dart that. We'll just go straight at it because it's a lot easier to do that. So we'll say that it comes out here. Yep. And then you are going to go that direction. Much cleaner. Okay. So we have some people using the interior track, some people using the exterior track. If you're moving yourself around from this point, you're on the exterior track, you're going to go around and you're going to end up going that way. So if you want to go straight, you just go whoop and then you're going straight, right? If you want to keep going around, you can totally do that. Now, how do I get people to switch between tracks? Because what if you're heading here and you want to go there? How do you do that? Well, this is connected entirely to the interior track. So I'm going to go and say that that is the way to do it. Okay. And this is connected entirely to the interior track. So we need to have certain points where trains can switch to go from different points of this, of this area. And that's the hard part, right? Now, one thing you could argue is, well, why don't you just have one track that goes straight through? And that's totally doable. So if I wanted to, I could not occupy any space in the roundabout by just going straight through here, right? But if I do that, then you're going to have the exact same situation as if we did a cross. Because you're not going to have trains. Like, the only reason a roundabout is successful is because all traffic is moving the same direction. You cannot make a one-way track. At least it doesn't look like you can do that in this game. So there's no way for me to really dictate which direction people can go other than hooking up the actual keep right or whatever and then using signals to make sure that all trains are moving the same direction. Um, so like if I start doing this, that's going to make this whole thing be in the same section and therefore all trains entering the roundabout will still need to stop and let trains go through. We're going to try it because it makes things a little simpler, but I don't know if this is really going to work because I, I question... I always question this roundabout idea with trains. I don't know if it's its not really the same idea. It's not really the same thing as doing it with cars. So we're going to take and go you here straight through and I'll have you meet there. This one will also go straight through and meet there. Ooh, that's not going to connect at all, is it? Yeah, it's that's not its not working out. Hang on. Uh, come back a little bit. No, not gonna do it. Hmm. All right, I might, I may have to just come up here. Yeah. And then uh, if I connect it there, it's kind of sloppy, but it does do the job. So there's a straight through there, and then we'll have this go straight through. I, I don't want it to. I don't want it to go straight through. I want to see how the roundabout idea works. And roundabouts don't have straight throughs, do they? No, they don't. No, they don't. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna let it go. To see how it works and we can adjust as we go so uh okay so i think this is fully connected all we need now are places where trains can merge onto the different track so we can have one of those be here that allows them to merge onto this other track um, we can have this one merge at this point um we can actually we actually need to do this crossing in the same point it could be right here that means a train might have to go like around twice, but hey, that's a roundabout for a train, man. 
you can't switch lanes without the track being crossing, right? So, uh, let's pull this. I do like the idea of giving that a direct way to do it right away, though. Um, we could do the cross over here, too. We'll have a cross be here. Wow, that's really long. I didn't want to do that. Have a cross be there and a cross be there. Aw. You can't do that going the other way. Well, whatever. So if you're on this track, if you're on the middle track, right, you can now get on the higher track here. And if you're on the higher track, you can get to the lower track here. Right? And, uh, and that could be how that works. So, okay, train roundabout. Let's see what it does. Let's see how it works. Um, I don't know how it's going to work. <laughs> all right, the tracks are built. So let's take a look at signals because this is all one zone, right? So we're going to have signals everywhere, not, not working. I want to chain here. And actually, it needs to be a mixed. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. This has to now merge here by itself. So I need this to go away temporarily. And I need this track to now... Uh, yeah, I need this track to get... I need this out of the way first. And I need this track to now do it all by itself. It needs to, to get in there. Yep, like that. And then the same thing has to be true for this way. This track has to merge here all by itself. Which means I need to get around that signal. And then this train will go like so. Okay, build that. Okay, so now I need to do all my signals. So let's see. This is a this is a one-way track. We have to have a we have a crossing right there. Good. Alright, that, that takes care of it. Um, might want to have that crossing go up just a little bit though. It's a little bit close to the station, I think. Um, to the point where the train's too long it won't be able to use it. So why don't we just go ahead and make that crossing be here instead? Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. It's because of that power pole. Man, the power poles really do get in the way, don't they? I know I have to reconnect them. I, I'm aware. I know before anyone just is in a hurry to get their comment timestamp before someone else's on my power pole is being disconnected. I know. Okay. It's... I do, I do things consciously to the point where, you know, I'm, I'm conscious of them. <laughs> there you go. Uh, let's see. That's You can quote me on that, too. Mm -hmm. I do things consciously so that I'm conscious of them. We're going to have the power poles go right through the middle here temporarily. It's not actually temporary. It's permanent. It's going right there. Connect that up. Um, I want to say that this whole area here... Yeah, this is all... Uh, connected with, with this, right? Uh, and then we have this. This little string here. This little um, entrance to get in the steel. Um, I think we're going to hook this up to uh, this track. I think we're going to hook it up here. So I'm going to pull this back a little bit, I think. Just kind of go kind of like this. Ooh, not quite. Kind of like this. Yep. And then also, I guess if you're coming from this way, everything moves the same direction around the roundabout, right? So I don't need to have a connector. But I do, what I do need to have, though, is a way for this to get to that track. Yeah, I do. Oh, never mind. All right. So let's put this. Uh, oh, really? You won't do it, huh? Maybe we split it here. It's got to be after the road. Unfortunate. Yep, there, and then it goes all the way and connects like that. A little sloppy, but it can work. Yep. The point, the most important thing is that it will work. All right, there we go. All right, so for signals, we have a chain going in here. We have um, a clear, I guess, uh, here. We have a chain going in there. We have a clear going in here. We have a chain going in here and a clear on this side here. Okay? You can see what I'm doing? It's pretty uh, pretty straightforward stuff here. There we go. So the intersection is now going to be a different color. That's what we want. Um, we're going to have a chain be, uh, I think, here for this. 
and the clear will be on this side. And then over here, we'll have the chain be like this, and the clear be on this side. Yikes. You won't let me place that. There. Okay. So there you go. Your roundabout is uh, now a thing. Okay. Everyone who wanted a roundabout, there you go. You got a thing. It's there. It's hooked up. It's working. And then all the stuff is connected. So now the next thing is I'm just going to go ahead and pay for this because I want this track in here anyway. Um, we're going to grab the medium voltage wires. And I'm pretty sure it was just this straight across. And then it hooked up to, to that. So I'm going to put you, say, across this track. And then over this way to meet up with that. Fine. Uh, and then you were hooked up direct as well. So we'll bring you across. And then you're going to hook up there. Okay, let's go. Let's double check our power and make sure that everything is hooked back up. There we go. Power is on. Nothing's flashing. Everything is good. The only things that are white are things that are yet to be built. Yep. Okay. Everything is super stable. All right. <laughs> it went all the way around. My God. That's so inefficient. But you know what? If it doesn't have any traffic jams like us. But <laughs> you see that? Just train just... It goes, it goes through here, and it's just like, I got to go all the way around to get to that track. Damn it. Uh, I want to I wanna get up another... Yeah, here. This guy right here, he does that. Okay. I want to get another switcher, though. Like, um, can you, for example, go into there? No? Can one of these points hook up to this? And I, wanna, I want them to be able to switch faster if they need to. Um... Like, they can go from... I want them to be able to go from the middle track to the outside track fast. Yeah, like this. Faster. Um, but this... Uh, I can go that way. Yeah, this. no, this is good. This is where I want them to do it. So right here. And then there. And now they should be able to get from this middle track to the outside track as fast as they can. I like that. Yeah, that's good. And then um, from here, we'll, uh, we'll have the same thing. From the middle track here... If we want them to go to the outside track, they won't be able to. So, like, right now, if you're on this side and you want to go that way, you have to pretty much go here and then work your way all the way around, right? There's not really a whole lot of options for you to instantly transfer. And, uh, and that's kind of just the way it is. And I guess that'll just be the way it is. So, look, trains will stop, right? And then they have to figure it out, right? So, you're going to stop there and let this guy pass. And you, you see, it's like... You're not going to get two trains in here any anyways at the same time. They're always going to stop. Because the whole orange section is connected. It's all one section. You know? The only way to really, truly separate this is to have it be where trains cannot go from the middle section or the middle track to the exterior track. They can't do it. Um, then each one of those tracks would be entirely separate. But that still won't work because if any of the... Um, and if your trains want to go from the middle track and exit, they have to cross the outside track anyway. And so I, I think one track instead of two would probably be better. But then you still cannot have more than one train in the roundabout at a time. And as a result of that, um, it's really less efficient, less effective than just having crossing. Because like you can only have one at a time, so you might as well limit the amount of time a train is in that section. So I think this is going to be a lot slower, but I'm going to... I did it, all right? I did it. You can see it. And, um, you know, maybe I didn't do it correctly. I'm sure you guys will tell me if I didn't do it correctly. This doesn't have any power. Gives. What's up with that? Did I forget to connect it? Oh, you have power now. Maybe you are only getting power because of this. Oh, I think you are. I'm going to give you a substation right here. I think you're getting power just off of that wind. So let's get a quick, just a really quick substation in this area. This can do like this. That's fine. Yeah. Um, let's uh, just build that. And then I'm going to say 1.5 meters ought to do it. Or 1.5 meters? Wow. Uh, 1.5 uh, watts how to do it. Uh, we'll go like, yeah, like this. And then straight across. 
to the tracks over here and then into that. Okay. So this will give a more constant power supply to that. Because I, I think the only reason I didn't catch that before was because, again, these have these have substations built into them. So if they're in range, and you probably are, yeah, you were providing power to it directly and I didn't see it before. Okay, cool. All right, so let's take a look at our clothing area, huh? We've got three grain silos up and running, right? And they are prepared to accept crops for the fabric here. We have an agro farm. It says no trucks available. That's okay. The entirety of the farm is occupied by uh, vehicles that will sow fields and vehicles that will harvest. You can harvest fields faster than you can sow them. So I have more sowing vehicles than I do harvesting vehicles as a result of that. Okay. Um, but the trucks that are going to haul things around, that's going to be taken care of by distribution. So we have this. Currently, there's only three trucks. I think we could probably get away with four. But the thing is, is that... Uh, oh, see, we have so many... Hold on. There's so many trains waiting right now. What is this? Is it the roundabout area or what? I am baffled. Why am I baffled? The meat was dropped off here. And the meat train is so long that it can't use this cross. Yep. It has to use this cross. So you won't... Why aren't you moving, though? You can just keep going. There's nobody in your way. I guess it's because I don't have a clear. No, it can't be that. I think I don't want this. I think I want you to just keep moving all the time. All the way through this. Yeah. I don't want you to ever stop here. So you're just going to keep going. That's That makes more sense. And we chain that instead. Yeah, okay. I had somebody tell me that trains were boring. Like, I don't know. Don't watch then, I guess. Trains are awesome. What's wrong with you? <laughs> trains are awesome. They're way harder than dealing with, like, the logistical, like, they told me to uh, get more cars on the roads, right? More trucks. It's like, that's boring. Dude, yeah, that's boring. Like, I added another truck to the already established road. Big deal. Trains are a logistical nightmare. You have to try to figure out how to mix and match them and how to get it to where they don't do this, right? And, um, you know, as you add more, you have to look at the capacity that's that's here and try to figure out how to solve. It's, it's a problem to solve. We love problems to solve, don't we? And that's like the whole point of the game. Who doesn't like problems to solve? Right? I mean, why why play a game if you don't want problems to solve, you know? So like this right here, the problem to solve. We're just gonna have you hook up there, right? And then this, which is now weird because it's second track, like this, right? We're gonna have you hook up like this instead, which has all of the wires in the way again. Yeah, like this. There. I mean, it's a major part of the game. And these are the kinds of problems that people will, you know, people are going to have to deal with these problems when they play this game. This is not something where it's like the minor, you're creating a problem that no one has to ever fix. That's not true at all here. Trains are a, a, always a problem in this game. And that is, trains are a problem in real life too. All right, I fixed it. It uh, took a little bit of running and stuff, but uh, this is what it looks like. Maybe not the cleanest uh, assortment of things, but this is how we do things, you know? This is this is how everybody plays. You you don't necessarily know there's a problem until you see the evidence of it. And um, so, and then you fix it. And you find, you keep playing and then you find that there's a problem again, then you fix that. And you just keep doing that. And that's, I think that's the best way to play the game, honestly. I think that's the best way to play games. It's just me though, maybe, but I think that's awesome. So, uh, we have some trains here that are stopping. We'll see how they, uh, how they react. They're two pretty long trains. Got things that are kind of waiting for things to go through. And uh, once this moves on, then this one can go. There are four tracks here, of course. They're all one way. So these two here and here are going this direction. And then these two here and here go that direction. Right? And uh, then there's a couple of instances here where there's some just some extra signals. And this is to allow trains that are um, on this track to merge over to this one if they want to. 
and likewise for trains that are on this track to merge over to this one if it wants to. Uh, I'm not allowing them to do it the other way around, so it is what it is. Uh, I think it's mostly because you had a chance, the trains had a chance to get on a different track before. But see, this one here wanted to use it, right? It's coming from that direction, and it's like, okay, well, I'm going to be on that track now. And then it just gets over, and then it, off it goes. So it's a pretty small little section. I don't think it will create a whole lot of conflicts. If it does, we'll address it, but I don't think it will. All right. As far as the roundabout idea goes, I'm still not convinced it's better. I'm still not convinced it's doing anything different than a standard intersection. But we built it already, and so we're just going to keep it because uh, that seems to make sense. We're just going to do that. So, uh, yeah. Take a look at this over here. I think it's time to start maybe making some trains. You know? Get that industry going. We've uh, got a pretty good supply of stuff. This this uh, actually is almost full of plastics. Almost full of electronics and stuff, too. So I think it's, start, it's time to start working on this. So um, let's, uh, let's go ahead and finalize it. What do you think? Right here? Rubles? 692,000. That's it? And we can almost afford most of it with dollars, actually. So what if I was to just kind of... I mean, look at all these guys. They're just all being brought into here. It's beautiful, you know? Right now, it's just missing bricks. So I basically would be buying bricks. So if I went like this, I would be adding some things with dollars. Just bringing tons of bricks in there, right? And it's likely that there's just a train that hasn't brought the bricks, right? Um, 481,000 rubles. I think we'll go ahead and pay for that to finish. And uh, there we go. We're all done. So now it's just a matter of getting the people over here to work here, which a lot of them were just walking from their homes to work on the construction project. So that in and of itself is the good news. It just kind of means that it will work. Everything is going to work just fine. And it's done. So now we need engineers and workers. We have plenty of highly educated people, so they should start funneling over here. Uh, to start working uh maybe not 400 of them but that's what the cars and stuff are for right and we can also bring a passenger train in here if we want to i don't know about that so if i was to go like this that's a really far out footpath but it's kind of a straight line right if i was to do that can you guys can you reach this place to work there now yes it's only 274 meters too excellent so a lot of people can then walk this to get in here perfect so what I think I want to do, since that's a possibility, is we can put in a headquarters of the Communist Party. Once again, another headquarters right here. And then all these guys could potentially just come in here and, and go to school. Huh? I like the idea. We got uh, frame rate problems here as I delete things. That's always fun. Let's, uh, let's do that. Now that we've kind of proven that the walking path is enough to get there. I'll just delete this, uh, delete this up to about here. We're gonna pay for this with rubles. Then I need to let it run a little bit, right? To get enough money for the licenses. But um, if I was to say, take this headquarters of the communist party, maybe I can make it come from this side. I think so, maybe right here, like this. I'm worried that I won't have enough room to, uh, eh. should be all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leaving it a little bit far away from the road just because there's power poles there. And then if I get it right up against this road somehow, this should be good. Then they can go there and walk around it. I like it. Let's build this with rubles. And then we have an extra place for people to go to school. All right, the school is set up and running here. Uh, I've let it run for a little while just so I could accumulate some money for licenses. And, uh, like... They're called party officials. They're not professors anymore, or I guess doctors in the medical. These guys are called party officials. Yeah, this is brainwashing college, and somehow that helps get engineers, apparently. So uh, we're getting a little bit of engineers in here, a little bit of workers. It's going to take a long time to make stuff, but I want to at least be ready to go. Speaking of being ready to go, we've got a, uh, a train right here. Look at that. You zip around. There it goes. And uh, it is dropping off steel in this area here. So we got quite a bit of steel started. And I think this train, I'm going to go ahead and I think have it do nothing. Just for a little bit. Um, I think I might actually go to unload. Yeah, one last. I think this is what I'll do. One last load. And then I want you to go here and do nothing. And then as soon as you load, 
Uh, more steel, which you should be coming around the mountain pretty pretty quick here. Yeah, okay. There's, there's some trains going over the bridge. There actually isn't a whole lot of steel left in here. Kind of emptied it out. So we, we, we robbed a whole bunch of it. All right, good. So we're going to take this and delete this stop. So now all you'll do is unload. And then once you're done unloading, you're just going to sit there and do nothing. And that's going to keep that train just kind of on standby. All right. So, uh, yeah, party officials are making engineers. So let's go ahead and take a look at licensing. So no blueprint sent in production. We're going to go ahead and license a blueprint. Lots of different trains to choose from. I kind of want to make electric locomotives. But they're very expensive. So I think instead, just to get the ball rolling, we're going to make some diesel ones. And then we can expand from there. And I'm going to start by making, I think, the diesel loco type 753. It's a reasonable price, I, I think. I don't know. Uh, it, uh, it's a 0 0.005 tons of fabric. Okay. Uh, 70 tons of steel, 13 tons of mechanical components, 2.9 tons of plastics, and one and a half tons of electrical components. So we're going to buy that license. Instantly, that's debited from my account. And now we can select it. And this is the license we have a license to actually make. So I can go ahead and select that. So now what's going to happen is everybody who's working here is now going to be working on this locomotive. It's trying to build this. Now, of course, I need fabric in order to do that. And apparently they didn't deliver it. 1% of it. They didn't deliver the fabric. So I think just for this once. 24 tons is a lot. Let's not do that. Let's let's not do that. I was going to say just this once. Let's. Yeah, why don't we buy 10? It's $43,000. Big deal. All right. So now they can start working on it. They have a little bit of fabric. In fact, that 10 tons of fabric is probably enough to make, well, yeah, a lot of trains, okay? It's overboard, but I mean, I don't know. I guess once the trucks, once these guys start making fabrics, we can get it delivered there. Um, then it will be right there, ready to go. That's why the storage inside this warehouse is like super small, right? Uh, 3.81 tons. That's enough to make like 80 trains or something. I don't know what the math is on that, but it's, it's enough to make a lot of trains. So uh, yeah, so we're, we're making it. There's the progress. It takes a lot of time. 3,500 more work days. Yeah, it's a long time. But once we make it, it'll end up in this little area here, little train yard area here. And then we can have a train come in, load it up on a flatbed and take it away. You know, it's gonna be great. That's what we're gonna work on. I'm wondering if having this this, this sidewalk is very busy all of a sudden, you know? I'm wondering if it's worthwhile to put in another... I think it will be, just, just to do it. I'm going to put in a couple parking lots right here. I'm going to put one in right here, let's say. Let's go right up against this. We'll go here and here. And then on the side here, we'll go like... Actually, let's put the road in first. This road will go just like this yeah like this and then the parking lots will just be right across the road from it right so we'll go about like this and then like this so there's lots of parking here for you guys okay no complaints no whining about parking spaces it's right there and then I don't know if they actually will go from one parking lot to another but I'll connect them up and then we'll just do this Right? Uh, and then, yeah, connect that up. And then this good connects to the road, I guess. Fine. And then I, I think in order to get these really connected to the path, you have to have the walk path go around it directly, I think. Because, I, I, again, I don't think they're going to, like, exit here and then walk down through this parking lot and over. Um, at least I don't believe that's what they'll do. One thing I guess I could try is maybe this. That makes a T junction, and then I can have the walk path go off the T. Yeah, there's no connection point there, unfortunately. It won't let me do that. Um, but it's okay. It looks cleaner this way anyway. So what we'll do is we'll have this walk path go, I think, straight through. Ooh, that almost works. Yep, like this. And then around, like so. And then the same thing on this side. Around this way, and then around like so. And then that can meet up there. Uh, come on. Yep, there. It's fine. And then there. And there. Okay. 
Looks a little bit weird, but hey, that's what you need to do. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. And then that's obviously within walking distance of everything here too. And then all of those parking lots, you know, they can they can come off here and work in the university. They can come off there and work in anywhere else, anywhere they want, right? Um, so uh, I think I haven't I haven't actually bought personal cars yet. But again, there are some places that are really bad for employment. Like there's a lot of really high unemployment, right? And that's over here. And I don't I don't want these guys to defect or leave because they don't have a job. Um, currently, if I take a look at I don't think I have a city hall in Sosnikova. I should get one. That would also provide jobs, wouldn't it? If I say I want a city hall accounting office, let's put one like right here. It has to be within this within this area. Otherwise, I can't get the real I can't get real data. It'll be for a completely different zone if I do it if I don't do that. So, how about uh Where is Sosnikova's zone? When does where does that uh Okay, so this whole thing is Sosnikova. Nice. All right then. Uh, in that case, we'll we'll put this, um, I guess, right here. City Hall. Kind of like it's just a place where I can get details on uh, my people, right? Pop that there, and then we'll see what the unemployment rate is in this area. I bet it's pretty high. Because there's just a ton of people here waiting for the train all the time, which is good because the train's coming in and providing you know workers for chemicals and stuff. But it's like it's not enough, right? Like I don't have enough jobs, even in chemicals, to provide it for everybody here. So we'll need to get workers in here. They'll totally do that. Just got to give them a second. There we go. And now I can see resource status. Okay, so demographic structure: ten thousand people living in Sosnikova. Wow. Uh huh. Restore statistics. Import resources. Domestic consumption. Where is unemployed? 2501 so basically a 25 percent unemployment rate yep we got to do something about that all right i'm gonna let this run for a little bit we're gonna accumulate some money we're gonna let this stuff build so we can start making our own cars i probably will purchase vehicles uh i'll probably purchase like maybe uh well cars personal cars don't cost that much um I, again i've been intentionally avoiding getting them it's not like uh I thought they were too expensive or anything. I just, I wanted to set up a good public transport system because I felt like that was the challenge. You know, that's the real challenge. Um, so I can say who's allowed to own the car? Only university education. Ooh, I can limit car usage to only university education. <laughs> nice. Or I can do prefer. I like prefer. So if you have a college education, you are, the car is more reserved for you than if you don't have any education at all. I like it. Government loyalty prefer higher. Yeah, you don't get a car if you're not loyal, by the way. You have to have over 75% loyalty to use my car. Or 50%. Let's say 50. So if you're not loyal, you don't get to use cars. Okay? That's the way it is. And then if I wanted to buy the car, you can see they're not that expensive, right? You have... There's all sorts of different vehicles in here. And they're four passengers each. So we can get like a whole bunch of different colors and stuff. So if I wanted to try it out, I could do that. And I might look at that, but that's going to be next time if I do it. So let me just let this run for a bit. We have a uh, roundabout for trains. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe, all that, hopefully, if you, if you haven't already. And we'll see how we do on building these trains as, as time goes on. Take care. Bye-bye.